In the right hand, I have copper and in the left hand, I have iron. Two of the most common metals that you are going to see around in your day-to-day -day lives. But the question is, which of these two is chemically more reactive? Well, this particular experiment is going to really help you understand whether it's iron or whether it's copper which wins the battle when it comes to chemical reactivity. To do this experiment, we need a beaker with about 20 ml of water. Next we need copper sulphate salt. Let us open this and put about 4 to 5 grams of copper sulphate in the beaker. Copper sulphate is really beautiful to look at and it's blue in color. So I've put roughly 4 to 5 grams of copper sulphate in the solution. Let's close this and put it aside. Let's shake this whole thing so that, in fact, let me just stir it with something. And here we have a blue copper sulfate solution with us. Let us put it back now. Next, we will take four to five drops of dilute sulfuric acid and pour it in this beaker. This is going to help the reaction to occur. So here we have dilute sulfuric acid. Be very careful while handling sulfuric acids or hydrochloric acids. Two, three, four, five. So I put about five drops of dilute sulfuric acid. Let's close this and put it aside. Let's shake it again. And finally, what we are going to do is we are going to take an iron nail and we are going to put it in the solution. And now the end product of this reaction is going to help us understand whether it's iron or whether it's copper which wins the battle of chemical reactivity. So we'll have to wait for about half an hour to see what happens at the end of the experiment. So after waiting for half an hour, it's now time to look at how the iron nail that we put inside the solution looks like. So let us remove the iron nail with the help of these tongs. As you can see, it is completely changed. It was silver when we put it in and now it looks all brown. Do you know what this brown thing is? It's all copper. Initially, all of the copper was present in the blue copper sulfate solution. After putting iron, most of the copper from the copper sulfate solution has been separated and copper being brown is deposited on iron. In other words, iron has snatched the sulfate ion from copper sulfate solution. And that is because iron is chemically more reactive than copper. So with the help of this experiment, we have understood how is it that practically Iron is more chemically reactive than copper. Thanks for watching.